Hi guys, so uh, if you remember on our last video we had uh, an issue with those little drivers and uh, we got them fried and uh, as our friend Bruno from New York told us uh, some external drivers could be useful on such situations where you have a lot of torque that you need and uh, maybe you need to drive bigger motors and uh, well those little drivers can handle up to such uh, amps like two amps so this is the solution external drivers and uh, as you can see you only need to feed them the logic that you can get straight from your uh, preferred uh, board uh, you just snap the power to the motor directly and they just work as a charm and uh, as you can see it's just a test I'm doing here with uh, some jumper cables nothing uh, definitive let's say and um, well they work quite good please cameraman come closer okay now as you can see what I did here on the electronic side I took off some drivers from my Roomba the, one that the, the ones that were responsible for the Z driver and as you can see I've uh, sent the enable step and direction signals and the ground of course uh, to the uh, motor wirings which I use now to connect the logic since there are four cables we have four cables here it's easy to do and uh, remember there are two ground pins on the Pololu socket uh, uh, this one the closer one is for the 5 volts which is for the logic the other one is for the motor so uh, I mean the the power you feed the motor so you don't need that one you need the, the 5 volt ground circuit should be the same maybe but I'm not sure so better be safe than sorry since I've read around that uh, that one ground pin is for the 5 volts I've seen on a reference image ground should be ground everywhere but well better be sure I told you so um, as you can hear let's make it move there is a lot less friction also let's say that is very nice on those drivers that uh, you don't have anymore some potentiometers to rotate with a ceramic screwdriver what you have uh, here are deep switches which are easy to configure and if you don't know how to configure them well don't worry because as you can see from here from up here there is a reference table which tells you how to uh, easily set micro steps and amperage for your motors and uh, you can go up to 132 micro steps and uh, well they are quite nice to see also you have some leds to let you know instantly if they are on or if they are uh, if there is an error because the other one is for the errors and um, we've postponed the speaking about the screws and the bells for two videos in a row but uh, well I promise you next video will be about bells or about uh, why you need to tighten them very well with examples of course on what goes wrong when you do not uh, um, tie them well and uh, if you don't tighten them well also and uh, well should be all for now so till next time bye bye